everybody. This is John Smith, Safety Director at Freedom Trans Dedicated. We're going to be talking about the safety topic for November of 2022. And the topic is Drowsy Driving Prevention Week. This topic uh, article first appeared in the Ideal East Safety Newsletter I put out last week. So hopefully you've had a chance to look through that. But the National Sleep Foundation has launched Drowsy Driving Prevention Week. That's going to be November 6th through the 13th. It's an educational campaign designed to save lives by increasing awareness of the dangers of driving while sleepy. The National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration estimates that drowsy driving causes at least 100,000 police reported crashes and kills more than 1,550 Americans every year. It is curious that all states have laws to enforce drunken driving, but few have laws to cite a driver who has fallen asleep, causing an accident. Only New Jersey defines drowsy driving as recklessness under a vehicular homicide statute. Known as Maggie's Law, New Jersey's drowsy driving law has raised awareness of the consequences of fatigue behind the wheel and has spurred significant action in other states. There are now at least eight states with 12 pending bills that address fatigue driving in various ways. So, what can you do to stay alert while driving? First thing, sleep, take naps. Your best bet is to get enough sleep daily. If you must stay up late, afternoon naps are a great way to get more sleep. A 15-minute nap can be very effective if you feel drowsy while driving. Make sure to pull over in a safe place. Caffeine. Well, avoid caffeine during the last half of your workday, as it may contribute to sleeping problems. You can gain short-term alertness by drinking coffee or other caffeine sources if driving, but it usually takes 30 minutes to take effect and wears off after a few hours. Next, regular stops. You should stop every 100 miles or two hours. Next, AC, max recirculation. Don't operate the vehicle for extended periods with the AC on max or recirculation. Under these conditions, the level of CO2 in the vehicle increases, contributing to drowsy driving. Avoid alcohol. If you've been drinking, please don't drive. In addition to being illegal, alcohol makes you sleepy and amplifies your fatigue. So if you're planning a long trip, AAA offers the following tips for avoiding fatigue. Prepare for your trip by getting a good night's sleep. Plan to drive when you're generally awake and stay overnight rather than traveling straight through. Avoid driving during the body's downtime. According to AAA, this is normally mid-afternoon and between midnight and 6 a.m. If you have passengers, talk to them. It will help keep you alert, and they will also be able to tell if you are showing signs of getting sleepy. Schedule a break every two hours or 100 miles. Take a nap, stretch, take a walk, and exercise before resuming your trip. Stop sooner if you show any dangerous signs of sleepiness. Now, tricks that don't work, opening the window, turning on the air conditioning, or playing loud music is ineffective in keeping drivers alert for extended periods. So, hope this helps. It's some great advice. I hope everybody has a great November, and I'll see you back here at the first of next month. Stay safe.